You're listening to the sounds of Salford from the UK going out to the world. Good afternoon and welcome to Corey's Rants. How are you, Paul? Hello, I'm all right. 
Well, I'm not alright. Well, what's up? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story, right? Are you ranting already? No, I'm just going to tell you this story and see what you think. Right, I've got this here. Parking fine from Manchester. Right. Uh, January this year. Parking contravention? Yes, but I never I never had no sticky oil on my car or not like that. Someone must have pulled it off, right? Right. So uh, I went to court with it in, uh, in I think it was June. Right. It went to Nottingham. A long time ago. Yeah, it went to Nottingham Crown Court. Nottingham? Nottingham, yes. I don't know why it went where to Nottingham. Where was, where was it in Nottingham if you... I don't know. Manager. That's just where you dealt with the case. Anyway, it went to Nottingham. And the Nottingham Crown Court threw it out saying like, you know, because you've not had no ticket, fair comment. Right. It's right. just fair comment, isn't it? Yeah. They said, but there might be a possibility that they still might charge you. But I said, I've not had no ticket. Yeah, yeah. Which is fair comment. So well, it's the court said it's... Right. Not outstanding, it's not outstanding. So then I left it, left it, left it, left it, left it. I woke up this morning, got a letter off some uh, bailiff company saying I own £423. Ooh. Oh, are you getting it? I wouldn't have thought so. No. But if it's a bailiff letter, that means that they've been to county court, that means they can just (laughs) help themselves in, doesn't it? (laughs) Well, has it been to county court? They'd send a lot of letters, these bailiffs, threatening people, threatening the vulnerable. Well, I'm not having it. Yeah, correct. No way you're threatening me. 50p a week. Max. Max. I've worked it out, I might be able to manage 10 pence a week. 10p? Yeah. You get squashed after five years then, don't you? So if it's 10p a week, that's £5.20 a year. Yeah, yeah. It's 24 quid, is it, or something like that? What? £20, 40 pence, 80 pence. It'll, it'll cost more to send it, mate. Yeah, yeah. So 26 quid that in They, five they years. want to get clever with me, I'll get clever with them. Yeah. It? You'll have to send us a, a pre stamped envelope. All the time, so it costs them more than it, won't it? Yeah, yeah. And I can put it in, I can put the 10p in the envelope. It's about 70p now for a, 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 a is stamp, it? isn't it? No. So what I'll do then, I'll offer them 10p, eh? Yeah. And there's nothing they can do about it, is there? Well, if you're on benefits, I'm on can. benefits, yes, yeah, so that's what I'll tell them. Correct. Correct. So yeah. that's the first rant out of there. That was a bit of Buzzcocks anyway who kicked off this show with a bit of hollow oh, inside. Which is what I was feeling when I received this letter. Well, I chose these tracks today because they've all got a sort of bit of a meaning behind them, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? A bit of how I'm feeling and shit like that. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, how are you feeling, mate? Uh, it's not, sad not... time in the year now, isn't it? Where uh, everyone gets uh, like. Sad depression, shall I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Seasonal affective disorder syndrome. Yeah, worrying where the next pound's coming for the next present. Oh, and and I've not worked before. Have you got a card? Have you got them a card? Have you got these a card? Don't do cards, mate. I don't do cards myself, so don't be bothered sending me one. I won't send you one. I didn't think you were going to get one, anyway. No, no. Same place as it was last year. Correct. Still in the post. Good lad. I only ever send it to Santa because he brings me stuff. Good, we like Santa. (laughs) How's your dad? All right, good. It's still the same. It's still good the old same. Sambo. Yeah, yeah, he's doing all right. Good. He's had. He been. He was having a bit of a. He was a bit ill the other week. Yeah. Just chemo that he's having and as on a regular basis and all that. Look, but knocks him, knocks him off his feet for a couple of it weeks. Doesn't and suck then a soldier like your dad long to get off his yeah. feet, does he? He's not no. got the time. Your mum won't let him. Okay, well, that's more that's like it. it isn't it? My mum gets him up. Get out! Get, get up! Get, get out! That's what we are. Yeah, because that's a proper woman for your proper self in bed. Correct. Correct. So. Right, so we go to a track a bit of old bum. Yeah, we're going to uh, the bones of you, isn't it? And this is about. I think this is a bit of a love song. This. Isn't Do you it? think so? Yeah. Well, yeah. And listening to the, the words. Tonight, huh? Yeah. Well, well it's my choice, isn't it? You yeah. Know well, I mean? I'll let you have a go. I'm, I'm, I have got. I have got. Uh, did you collect the um, the requests? No, I didn't. Did you not look at it? My phone's been up the wall I've again today. I've not been looking at it, mate. I'll be honest with you. So whoever this is for, this is for you. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is not a request. This one. Oh, well, it's just one that picks out this. So. Uh, I'll play this one for your dad then, because you love the bones of him, don't you? Yeah, of course, why not? So I'm there, charging around with a juggernaut brow. Overdraft speeches and deadlines to make. Cramming commitments like cats in a sack. Telephone burn and a purposeful gate When out of the doorway the tentacles stretch Of a song that I know and the world moves in slow-mo Straight to my head like the first cigarette of the day And it's you and it's me And we're sleeping through the day And I'm fine and 
I took a hammer to every memento, but image on image, like beads on a rosary, pull through my head as the music takes hold. And the sicker it hits, I can work till I break. But I love the bones of you that I will never escape. And it's you, and it's me, and we're sleeping through the day. Five years ago, and three thousand miles away, and I can't move my arm for fear that you will wake. And I'm five years ago, and three thousand miles away. The kettle, the kettle. The kettle in studio two. It's like a desert in this new studio, I'm telling no, you. No, and the eating's gone all AWOL. Again, the eating's gone AWOL, like your phone. Oh. What's happening with your phone? I keep charging it up and it just keeps going off, so if I don't get your uh, request out to date, it's because my phone's up the wall. We'll get them out next week, won't we, mate? And we will get them out a few out problems week. with our internet connections. Well, was, did, a girl I went to school with, Karen, she wanted me to throw a post out there for yeah, some Karen, chan- Karen Belcher right. for some charity event that she's uh, going to or wants to... Where is it? I ain't got a clue, side, so I can get my phone open. So hopefully, so, by the time the show finishes, I'll be able to get my phone out and be able to do it in the last link or something or the like other, that. Or the other thing is, we might be able to stick the link up on our Sounds of Silver Facebook page. Yeah, that's a good idea. we've got over 900 listeners on there, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Wow, we're talking about us. Yeah. Yes. Great news, great, great news, news today. Today, we're going to break through the 100,000 listener mark, aren't we, mate? 100,000, you can't beat that, can that's you? Six figures. For some, for, for a station that was never going to last more than two three weeks, weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. So that's what the last one said. That's what the last one said that I worked on. Unbelievable. But we worked on it, didn't we, mate? And we've yeah. been there from the start, me, you, Kere. and Cullen, haven't we? Kere. And now we've got 19 presenters. Kere. 19 now? 19 of us, yes. We're Kere. getting Kere. bigger and better all the time, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We are, We are the best in Salford by far. Yeah. And you know what? There's, 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 we cover every genre now, don't we? Yes. Virtually. Well... We, no, I, I see us as a station, a station for the people of Salford. That's what I see us as. Because we're, we're dictated, aren't they? Yeah, with every di- every show's di- uh, different. Like you said, it's a different genre. Like yours is more indie than anything else. Indie it? alternative. Whereas yeah. mine's more easy listening, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And Archie then, does the 80s, Nadia yeah. does the Chosen Year, yeah. Ryan does Guest of the Year, Dennis does the rugby show. Yeah, we need it. Uh, Ian does the rock and roll, the girls do. Do whatever they want. Whatever they want, yeah. Well, they, well, they cover everything. They, they cover everything, yeah. They cover all the artists. What we've not got is a, a real deep, heavy rock type show. Yeah, we've not got one of them. And we've also not got a ska show either, have we? No, we've not. We need Cold a ska Ed. show. So if you're listening, uh, Conan, just Lee come Lee Conan Because you know your ska music, don't you? It does, yeah. It does, yeah. so we, you know, we've and you know got what? a show there waiting for you. There's man. a lot of people on Facebook who like ska music, isn't Oof, there? You're telling me, you've got all the Salford uh, Best Fernandos, yeah. you've got the uh, Salford Knights, they'd love that show. And everybody our age, because it was around in that time, wasn't it? Was. it? You know what Stop I mean? Stop your so. messing around. Ah. Got to think of the future, Lee. Ah. So get your fat ass in here. Ah. <laughs> Lee Grenell, a message to you, I put, one on, I put one on for him this morning, the beat. I've seen it, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, I like the beat, me. I like music like that. You, you, I have a, I have, it's easy listening, isn't it? I have a, you know what, a sort of like musical taste where it covers from basically the 50s to 
the eighties. It really stops at the eighties. I don't really like nineties music. I like current music, mate. I like. I like.